Hey guys, and welcome to Duelist. So Duelist is a game that I've been playing for quite a while. It's a collectible card game or a trading card game, very similar to Hearthstone. However, it has some very definite differences. The main differences are that it's played on a grid so that the way cards are played and the impact cards have on the board is very different. So I'll maybe play a quick match against the computer because the thing I find about Duelist is I have to really concentrate and focus on what I'm doing and the moves I have to make. It's a very technical game and if I try to record I'll always try to make it entertaining and make good commentary but it always takes away from my play. That's very similar to what happened in Hearthstone. I hired a hard time finding the best plays as well as being entertaining. So you might not see too many do list videos because I more or less I'm just focused on playing my best every game but I'll try my best to do a little um a few episodes. So firstly the big differences come in cards um like airdrop and then cards that have um well, there's not that many cards that even have Frenzy, but the main thing I was thinking is flying. So, you can only generally place minions around your general. Airlock drop lets you summon minions anywhere in the battlefield, which is not a f anything Hearthstone had. And very similar, flying lets an enemy move, or lets a minion rather, move anywhere in the battlefield. Dep stop, pretty much stop by nothing the enemy can do, except for maybe dispelling the minion. And it friends and just lets you attack all minions in range. So maybe we'll do just a practice because practice is generally quite easy. Um, and I'll use my Magmar deck. I think I have quite a few of the different things in there. Um, Bissian Host is a very Abyssian interesting one. Versus Magmar. So Bissian has a lot of smaller minions and tries to get value from said minions. So. Um, the player who starts on the, well, because I call it side one, plays first and gets two mana, where the player who starts on side two gets three mana and is closer to the mana springs. So those mana springs also give you one mana. So I know I'm going to be costing a three mana card. However, um, opening gambit is very similar to battle cry. And I want a creature that I can kind of capitalize on. I guess I'll keep a tiger. You can replace two cards, unlike in Hearthstone where you can place all your cards. Here you can only replace two. However, the thing that makes it very different from Hearthstone is you can replace a card every turn. So. So. Minions and generals can move two squares unless otherwise stated. Raged minions can attack anywhere on the battlefield automatically. So we have a couple choices. We can just straight out kill that minion with a spell. Natural selection kills any minion with the lowest attack. We can cast a spell. Um, we have a couple options. Um, we definitely though, however, first want to replace. So we're gonna replace that minion and we got a very high minion. It's generally your best shot to replace your worst card or a situational card, because sometimes you can get a better card. So. It's a very powerful minion, however it costs a lot so we cannot use it for a long time. So we can either contest Mana Springs or um, do things of that sort. Getting the Mana Springs is also very important, however we're not really getting anything and I don't want to play a Saber Spine Tiger um, and just get it killed by the Feral Hunter. So we're just going to Natural Selection here, it's pretty much our best move. We don't want to play a Tempo Primordial Gazer because it's it's opening gambit or it's battle cry ability is very powerful. So sometimes you get turns where you, you can't do anything. Those can be really crippling. It's a game that's huge on tempo. So so if we would have played into that Shadow Watcher with our Slayer Sun Tiger, it would have been a 3-3. That's a very punishing card. Is that see? Yeah. So. What I'm going to do here is we have four mana. We can try to go for a replace. Um, I don't think I'll... Spirit Harvester is potentially good in this matchup. So we'll definitely keep it. So my choices are to play a Flame Spitter and hope it survives to kill Shadow Watcher. 
or to play Saber Spying right away and kill the Shadow Watcher. Shadow Watcher is very powerful and a very difficult minion, but our opponent is possibly going to have trouble dealing with our Flame Spitter. I guess we'll just replace our Kamora. So that's interesting getting veteran Silithar. However, if he kills Silithar, it counts as a a death, and then he kills Egg, it counts as a second death. So it's a game where you really have to know the mechanics. I'm gonna take a risk and just summon the Flame Spitter. Cause next turn, even if it gets boosted twice, i.e. two minions died, we can still kill it with our Saber Spine Tiger. So trying to explain the best and I guess I didn't really explain this very well so Fletcher and Silthar when it dies it leaves behind an egg the egg has to be killed also it will hatch into another minion in the following turn the same usually the same minion so he's using demonic lure to move the creature closer so he can kill it with his general so and that's the thing it makes Shadow Watcher even bigger so he's going to keep trying to grow the Shadow Watcher. It grows every time a minion dies. So any time a minion dies, it grows bigger. So he's really trying to play a lot of minions to really get the Shadow Watcher out of control. You can get ridiculously out of control Shadow Watchers. So the thing we have to worry about is we can move, we can summon our Shadow Iron Tiger, and since it has Rush, it can move and attack immediately. Much like Hearthstone's creatures that turn their summon have summoning sickness. So we can summon it here. You can always summon wherever your general is. We can move to and attack. So that's likely what we're going to do here. However, we can actually play our Silithar as well. But I'm thinking of going for a replace. But I think our other minions are quite good. Because I want Spirit Hearts or Gazer is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to claim the well so my opponent cannot get it. So so that's the Shadow Watcher dead. That's a very big thing. And we'll just claim the well. Because we do not want our opponent to take that well. You saw on the last turn, opponent took the well and got to play a huge amount of additional creatures. So Silthar is especially powerful here because... He has a lot of smaller minions, so he'd have to trade two minions into it to attack it, plus probably have a general attack. So. Can't be a, a harder minion for it to deal with. So I'm actually probably going to play Spirit Harvester, unless he attacks and trades in a bunch of his minions. So. Every time a minion gets attacked, as you saw, it will counterattack. I didn't really explain that. So. Pretty much minions trade, same idea as in Hearthstone. However, this is Shadow Creep. If a character is on Shadow Creep, it gets additional damage. So this is actually... Why would he play it on Shadow Creep? I guess it's just end of turn. So. Okay, so now we have a choice to actually make our Silithar bigger with the Gazer. And... But if we take the Mana Spring, we can actually play an additional minion, um, which would be the Fetch and Silthar. So Colossus here um, is not, it's a good, it's a strong, sturdy minion, which actually would probably be very good in this matchup. Um, so I'm actually, I'm going to throw the Spirit Harvester away, though it looked very good. And here's actually, um, possibly don't want to don't need to claim the mass spring as long as we can stop our opponent from taking the mass spring um we can still kind of guard it so you can guard mana springs for yourself other thing we could do is we could take the mass spring with our general so that would give us only seven mana i think that is good though so you always want to take these advantageous plays he's probably likely going to kill our egg but, and there's nothing with the too much we can do to protect our egg, but um, we can kind of play the optimal turns. It is something their opponent does have to attack, so that is something. He has to use an attack on this where he otherwise might have attacked something else. So, And I tried to play it so that my opponent couldn't kill my gazer as well, because the egg was blocking it. 
so now our opponent has played a big creature. So, <laughs> usually my deck plays a lot of big creatures, but, and I'm often the first one to get big creatures out, but not in this case. So, <laughs> we could take a lot of damage and kill this Storm Metal Giant, but I guess it's a Golem. Um, we have seven mana. I really want to play the Colossus to start developing it. And I, I could, I don't really want to trade all my minions into the stone metal. And generally you want your opponent to kill Thilslar on their turn, so that if they don't kill that turn, it's just reborn. But I'm not seeing too many great options as long as I don't want to trade in my Silithar. So, I think I'm just going to take the big 8 damage to the face. Because so, we don't have an, another replace this turn, so I guess that would be the play. And then we're going to attack the hero, because again, we want our Siltar to be killed on our opponent's turn, rather than on our own turn. I also could have greater fortitude the minion, but often if your minion's going to get killed by a spell anyway, I don't find it's that much value. Is he going to actually attack my face here? So if he has nothing else to kill this egg, we have a very powerful... Um, next turn because the Silithar just is resurrected. So I have actually have an instant card, it's the first sword of Cain. It gives other minions plus one attack. It's not a great minion, but I don't have a lot of very powerful minions as of yet. So the Colossus is actually not going to be able to respond to this Thorn Needler very effectively. So, but and Greater Fortitude is a very good card. The only one traded in. So I guess we'll trade in the Colossus. We got a Gazer. So. I definitely want to preserve general HP right now. Because my general is low. So. Just going to play down there. And then we're going to hold off. Also, I didn't really explain artifacts. Artifacts have three charges. When they lose three charges, they are destroyed. They lose charges whenever your general takes damage. So if you attack and something counterattacks, you'll lose a charge. Or if you get hit by ranged minions, pretty much anything that gives damage. So he gave his minion additional attack. Um, there's a bad luck here, so give all 10 minions to attack just this turn only. So we have a 4 6 minion, and again, we have a boost. So Flash Reincarnation just makes you summon minions cheaper. We do not need that at the moment. So our opponent's actually getting quite far down. So we need to counter damage. So we can't actually, the way I moved, I couldn't actually attack him. If I could attack the general this turn, we'd have lethal, but six. But we don't quite have lethal at this point. One thing we could do is we could block our opponent and deal a, a lot of damage, which is probably the course of plays we're going to go for. It's always we want to move away from our opponent if we're worried about dying. And possibly even box our opponent in. So we have a 6-7. Do we want to make it more powerful? So this could be used as surprised or in-hand damage. I'm not sure if we really need it. Because the thing is, I can't remember if Abyssian has auto kills. There's a lot of cards that just kill minions instantly. So as Magmar, you really have to preserve, preserve your cards in case you really need them. So I'm going to take a chance here. Um, if this minion dies, I'm going to hope I had that in hand damage. But I'm sure this game, I'm going to win this game in the long run. So I'm not too worried about the kind of short term situation. Okay, so he is going to block me there. But what I can do now is since he I can trade this minion and then move this minion forward. Hmm. Why did my minions both turn into eggs? Oh, deals damage equal to the number of shell creep at the end of the owner's turn. Ah, so that's actually... <laughs> I've actually never experienced Shadow Creep at all, so that's interesting. 
At the end of the owner's turn. Oh, okay. So that's very powerful. However, we can summon minions around our eggs. So I think the veteran so far are just going to keep getting killed. But I'm going to summon the Colossus here because we can again go for our opponent's face if he does not kill it this turn. So, yeah, Shadow Creep is very powerful actually. Because yeah, it's just going to keep killing our veteran Silthar over and over again every turn. But if our opponent doesn't have anything or provoke minion, we have the game. Oh, it can move up actually. If he would have moved up, he would have survived. But here he's just dead because um, the Shadow Colossus will gain 6 attack, which will be enough to defeat. So we just win here. So it gains plus 4, plus 4, accessibility. We increase its attack. It does not have provoke. Provoke's pretty much like taunt, stops you from moving. And we just defeat the opponent. So, and you can saw that there. If I wasn't recording, I would have notice the shadow creep and being able to move my minions accordingly but and i think it was abyssian's turn anyway so um i wouldn't have been able to move my minions but that's exactly what i was talking about when you're trying to explain things you don't get to focus 100 percent on the game so i bet you 100 percent you could have saw lines there that would have been better choices of plays but because I was trying to explain things so heavily and you only have so much time to do a turn, I didn't get a lot of time to focus on that stuff. So that's why you might not see a lot of duelist content coming out, but um, I am committed and I am very excited to play more duelist. So next episode, we're gonna open some spirit orbs. Spirit orbs are the equivalent of packs in the game. So make sure you tune in for more duelist. Thanks guys, later.